This the schematic for series RLC band pass filter. Let's simulate it on Simulink. So let us start. Right now I am just selecting all of the components that I require to make a series RLC pen pass filter. Sorry, my laptop is quite slow. And finally the voltage source. Let's arrange them. I forgot to select a ground. Let's search it. Here. Keeping the value of resistance, um, sorry, I have to give it 150 ohms, making the series RLC as inductor, 27 milli Henry, and making this one a capacitor, and uh, with the value of 0.047 microfarad. Setting the voltage to 10 volts and frequency will be changing, so don't bother. Now I'm completing my connections. So I have actually, uh, you know, our the frequency was 4.46 kilohertz so just to show how my filter is working and how is its response I have made a list of frequencies and I will check the response of my filter at each and every frequency and at the end we will plot a graph over it and check whether it is a graph of a bandpass filter or not so I have taken five values before cutoff frequency and five values after cutoff frequency so let us get started firstly checking on cutoff frequency and it should give the highest gain at cutoff frequency as it is a bandpass filter. I'm sorry for the speed of my laptop. And let's check it. Yes, it is 
10 volts and simply means that it has passed the cutoff frequency with full gain. Now let's go in sequence. Now I will test 1000 Hz frequency and of course the unit is volts. So let me mention it here. So checking on 1000 uh, Hz. And in this way, I will note down the voltage and amplitude for each frequency. If you can do it on your own, you can skip this part and move to the last part of this video. But it's better if you keep the pace with the video. So what should happen is that the gain should gradually increase and reach to its peak at the cutoff frequency and after that it should gradually decrease. It's almost six point one now. Or no, let's test on five thousand. Let's run it. I'm just taking approximate values, I'm not going for accuracy. Point one not testing eight K run it accurately one point five. One point one or two, maybe, and finally the last one. Sorry if you find this part boring.
finally we are done let's plot them and check the response whether it is a band pass filter or not and yes The response we have achieved is quite similar to that of a bandpass filter. As the resonant frequency is 4.4 kHz, therefore we observe that 4.4 kHz signal and frequencies near 4.4 kHz are passed by the series RLC band pass filter with a higher gain.